are just about set to get things underway here on Monday night. On the SEC Network and Georgia wins the tip coming in at 8-1 on the season. Had a win last Thursday over Furman. Jordan Isaacs with the ball in her hand. Finds Diamond Battles, a name that we will call throughout this ball game. Look at her energy and effort, but also trying to find ways to get her teammates involved. Audrey Warren off the mark there. Take a look at the starting five for the Wolfpack. Jakia Brown, Turner, Madison, Hayes, Mimi, Collins, and Camille Hobby. Hobby stepping in for Alyssa Kunane, who is one of those four departures from a season ago, but Hobby says, I can fill those shoes. Yeah, Camille Hobby has had many opportunities when Elisa Kunane last season got in foul trouble against Kansas State in the tournament. Who stepped up? It was Camille Hobby. A couple seasons ago against Virginia Tech, she had to step up because Elisa Kunane had COVID. Now she has patiently waited for it to be her time, and she's shown up. Well, nice in transition there as Johnson finds Mimi Collins. So far, they have to find offensive production, ways to score, attacking the rim, being able to get second chance opportunities, third chance opportunities there. A quick substitution by Coach Abe as Javin Nicholson comes in for Jordan Isaac. One thing that Georgia has is solid depth at the post position. Javin Nicholson, Brittany Smith, Jordan Isaacs, they can keep each other fresh, but great round against the scout team. She said, listen, whatever you have to do to get your mind right to go against this team, let's lock in, and this is what she's looking for. On the steal, Warren finishes it off, goes to coast. Georgia now trailing by just three, but that's where their defense leads to offense, and that's where they can be most effective. Wide open on the wing and knocking it down. Shooting so well from the floor. They have multiple players that can knock down three-point shots. Nine players have hit a three so far for NC State. It's tough because who do you guard? You can guard inside, you can guard outside. Right as I say that, but she is scoring more this season as well. Stolen away right into the hands of Zoisha Smith. One-on-one -on -one battle with Diamond Johnson. Give Brittany Smith credit that last defensive possession. She closes out on the wing until her guard bumps her down. Then she sprints back into the paint to get the rebound. So we talked earlier about how Georgia is a team that struggles shooting the basketball. Open along the baseline and the mid-range jumper won't go for Mimi Collins. Brittany Smith. And the Bulldogs so far shooting 50% from the floor. They go down the Brittany Smith high percent, 53% on the season. You say high percentage shot, Tiff, and she also has a high motor. I mean, to pin and not get the basketball and then spin and pin again, turn and shoot it. Nobody was down low warming the basketball in an easy bucket for NC State. Keep an eye on Diamond Johnson. She's had a couple of opportunities to just get through the defense on the dribble. You don't always want to do that. You want to break the press with the pass, but she's found her teammates out of it. Nicholson from the free throw line and is able. And Chloe Chapman tried to take it in and do it herself. Instead, here comes the Wolfpack. Sanaya Rivers checking into the ball. Trying to trail and stay alongside Diamond Johnson who gets to the bucket and the miss. For Diamond Johnson. Struggling with their shot selection and that is what has given Georgia opportunities to score. And right now, Georgia with a six point lead under a minute to go in the opening quarter. Against number eight, NC State. Soisha Smith just trying to... Jessica Timmons, Georgia, on the inbound. Diamond Battles kicks it out to Warren. Warren for three, and she's able to knock down the triple. And Warren, who's been through 
a lot, a number of concussions during her time at Texas. Now three to go on the shot clock. Got to get it up. A tough one through traffic. And somehow. What did Coach Abe talk to us about? She said, whoever is guarding Diamond Battles. The preseason All-SEC selection is Diamond Battles. And right now, Georgia up big. Wide open there again was Mimi Collins, but good recovery from Jadman Nicholson. And that's okay. That, that's that's great for Georgia. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. The last thing you want to do is bail them out with a foul. You worked so hard. Georgia shooting the ball really well thus far. 55% from the floor, 11 of 20 overall. Diamond Battles, who is fouled on the three-point shot. It speeds the defender up, so it's hard to recover and stay under control on that shot, and it leads to a foul. So you're trying to catch him, and you end up making contact. And knocks down the third. And free throws are great for Georgia, because what does it do? Allows them to set up their defense. And this is playing right into the hands of Georgia's defense because they wanted to force them into the half court. Westmore wanted to get out and run some more. But right now, just very difficult possession, but Diamond Johnson. Battles elevates off the mark. Brittany Smith ripping that rebound down and away. George in the bonus, so they'll shoot to Smith, who was the Americans' sixth player of the year. Another three, off the backboard, in and out. Been through this program, starter on several watch lists. And now, so it looks like NC State's slowing down, but now they're playing on their heels. So you still want to be aggressive. You still want to show a jab step. Maybe dribble and attack a gap, then kick it out against the zone. So you're still playing with tempo, but you're not rushed. They have to find that balance. Smith running into her own player. Own teammate, rather. Five to go on the shot clock had one earlier so that's only her first I've enjoyed the matchup between these two this is a fun battle to watch that when you're a competitor you just want to keep the person in front of you and stop them from what they are trying to do and you can tell that's what she wants to do against battles eight points now for Georgia's leading score coming in the ball game and quickly to the back Sanaya Rivers. South Carolina Gamecocks, national champions from a season ago. Automatic. She, she talked to Coach Westmore. She wanted to be a little closer to home. And happy. Won't go, tries again, no go. This time the dice fall. So Mimi Collins trying to energize her team, missing the free throw. The chance to cut it to one possession. Rivers working on Chapman, trying to create a little separation. It's short. And now Collins getting the rebound and the O board. Their production is missed sincerely, but their leadership all the more. With so much chemistry within that group and between those players they played so many with each other now you've got players coming in that didn't play very many minutes last season georgia looking to run an elevator screen and oh, oh. I, 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 I don't know about that one <laughs> in the corner for three diamond johnson trying to run it up in there camille hobby with the offensive rebound and it falls. Gotta watch out for Collins in the corner again, this time going inside in the paint and high percentage shot there. 
They're able to get it across half court. And Mimi Collins is wide open underneath the basket, asking for it. That's one of the ways that Westmore was able to utilize the transfer portal and get players who have good experience coming over from Maryland after starting her career at Tennessee. Mimi Collins is making her mark here tonight as Tough shot flipped up by Brittany Smith. You know, you're active, you're up, they get you leaning, and then they pull up for the shot. You're like, I, come on now. A wide open look for Jakia Brown Turner. Eye off the glass. Mimi Collins working down low. She wanted that one. Record thus far in top 10 ranking. Coach Abe's team do kind of fighting through the hard. It, it was fought through some hard moments and regained the lead. But if you think about it, NC State's done it. They didn't do it against Connecticut, but they did that against Iowa. Coach Westmore said every time Caitlin Clark scored, we had an answer. We handled Iowa's runs. Basketball is a game of runs. It's going to happen. NC State has handled it before. They've been able to handle it tonight so far getting the lead. Alicia Lewis, who was a three-point special. Out running. And Diamond Battles gets back, but slipping through. Improve as the season goes on. Alicia Lewis was blocked by Sanaya Rivers. The length of Rivers affecting that one. Camille Hobby. Big yell at an event when he found out Sanaya Rivers was coming. Shot clock was winding down, but a second chance opportunity for this Georgia offense. Audrey Warren with a great look. Georgia going inside to Brittany Smith. It's stolen away by Diamond Johnson. Doesn't have numbers. Wisely pulls it back out, waiting for the last shot of the quarter. A little hezzy in the corner is Sanaya Rivers, the triple. Incredibly special. Meanwhile, you yeah. talked about Georgia. Well, why he had his arms crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably is not pleased by the way that the Bulldogs came out of the locker room after putting up 32 points in the first half. It went pretty cold there in the third. Diamond battles. Johnson asking for a river ball when going one-on-one -on -one with Brittany Smith. Bounces out. And then boxing out and getting that rebound is Mallory Bates. Audrey Warren, 13 points overall at a season, has a tied her season high rather with three three pointers as well. Lewis, got a hand on that one. Diamond Johnson, who we talked about in the open, team's leading scorer. Defensive effort makes her lose her feet. And then Audrey Warren knocks down the jump shot. Simon Johnson, who we featured in the open, you talk about the way that she is distributed the basket. Audrey Warren has played great. You talk about Diamond Johnson not scoring as much as we are used to her being able to score the basketball. Audrey Warren on Diamond Johnson over her as Warren right now. Audrey Warren's tied her season high. Three's made with three. She's got 15 points on the night. Averages eight. Just points in 13. The offensive rebound. Battling Brittany Smith defensively. Wrapped around as Brittany Smith is trying to push her up the lane line. Chance for Georgia to kick it in. Audrey Warren from beyond the arc. And Warren has it flowing right now. She's going up the left side of the court. She wants the basketball again. A little heat check. Diamond battles keeping her in her peripheral. Brittany Smith.
Tough shot there for Battles. Out and running the Wolf Pack. Madison Hayes with the sidestep against the Wolf Pack as they've done in their previous nine meetings. Against Tennessee, when he scored a touchdown and put up the phone and said, Call me. Has to be the end of the game. Big time play. A stellar season that he's had and played terrific in that SEC championship game. And, you know, who's going to be that Georgia player perhaps that can throw up the call me, phone me sign like Stetson Bennett did if they're able to pull off this upset over number eight NC State? Historically, you would say diamond battles, but I would give the nod to Audrey Warren tonight with the way that she's been able to knock down shots. And just having a tough possession here as NC State lucky to get a shot off. And just one for 10 prior to that shot falling for Diamond Johnson. And she comes up with a big one, ending a scoring drought of more than four and a half minutes for the Wolfpack. You see Georgia turning up their energy. you got to turn up your energy as well. Georgia to turn up their defense with this seven-point deficit. But see, you see how Jakia Brown's right? The Wolfpack shooting 68%. On the right side, trying to get out of there. Diamond Battles finding Warren. Tough shot. The three almost went. That was great defense by NC State. And I talked earlier about Jakia Brown-Turner struggling from the field, her to be on the floor in these moments, coming down to the wire. Try to play tough defense, create a turnover. Mimi Collins hesitated, had a chance, and then draws the foul and nearly gets that one to fall. Mimi to extend the lead. Mimi Collins. It was a nice all-around game. Grinded one out, but this is like you said, it's an entirely different style of play, and they're showing they're able to do both. Alicia Lewis had that one contested. Sanaya Rivers and Hobby were right there. Rivers falling to the floor, and Alicia Lewis got to pick it up. You got to pick the ball up. And the turnover and two points now as Audrey Warren captures her 18th point, but still a lot of work to do. 10 seconds or 10 points separating them, and you got a foul here getting back to the game plan. What happened in the third quarter when NC State was getting right back into it? Had a couple of quality offensive possessions. Played solid on the defensive end, stayed in front. NC State is a really good example of you don't have to do anything crazy on the defensive end. That third, Alicia Lewis out of the timeout, off the mark there. Audrey Warren chasing down the rebound. And that one partially blocked by Diamond Johnson and just heaving it up, and boy, NC State, they clamped down, they made the adjustments at halftime, and they came out of the locker room, recharged and ready to go, and they pick up their first.